Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Last month, Benchmade Knife Company was caught with their pants down after the Oregon City Police Department thanked them with a Facebook post for helping them destroy a bunch of firearms. Now, that was not good for Benchmade, but after that, it was revealed that they were donating like big bucks to anti-gun politicians, one after another. And many people said, you know, Benchmade, you are now dead to me. And I was one of them. I said, you are dead to me. You know, I'm done, not that I ever have, but I, I will not support anybody who doesn't support me or the Second Amendment. Now, these accessory companies, these knife companies, these gun companies all say, we are strong supporters of the Second Amendment. But does your money show that? Like, if we follow the money, can we see that you are a strong supporter of the Second Amendment? Are you one of those companies that want these anti-gun uh, politicians to get out there and make statements, create a panic buying situation so that your profit rises? And I think, to a large degree, that is true. We saw that with Benchmate, even though they won't admit it, the owner got out there and gave some half-wit response to it. But we're also seeing that through EOTech. Through all of this, people got in there, they were they were investigating, and they found out that EOTech and their partner company, L3 Technologies, donated money to Diane Feinstein, of all people. Now, EOTech, who's right here in Michigan, I, I've owned EOTech. I talked about an EOTech that uh, failed in a carbine class for me, and, and I... I Thought, you know, EO Tech, you know, they're okay. They're not, not anymore. No, I'm done supporting companies that don't support me. Now, they come, they, they didn't make a statement at all. You know, the only thing they have done is delete comments off of Instagram and Facebook posts. One after another. I think they hired somebody full time just to delete comments off of face, their Facebook page and Instagram. So they are totally ducking the situation. But I'm here to make it known that EOTech does not support us. So why should we support them? And to top it off, you know, well, after my EOTech failed, here I got a Vortex Strike Fire 2 and a three-time magnifier. This is a great setup. Very happy with this. I have a review coming uh, shortly, but the, these two combined with the three-times magnifier that can be angled off or used combined costs less than one EOTech 512. So you tell me what the better deal is. Very impressed with Vortex Optics. Surefire is another one. They 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 came out with a statement. It was not a great statement. It it didn't answer anything to me. But I also uh, understand that the, these companies, this is what they do. They say, we we understand far more than you do. You don't have the capacity to understand why we do what we do. So we're going to give you bits and pieces of it. And maybe you'll understand, oh, by the way, we are strong supporters of the Second Amendment. No, you're not. You're dead to me. Now, I'm not supporting people who don't support me or the Second Amendment. The second thing I want to talk about is, you may hear a lot of people who make videos talk about YouTube demonetization again that has happened again I you know just one day out of nowhere all these videos are demonetized now I know you guys are saying oh yo, you do this for the money that is not true the main reason that this is important is because once a video is demonetized it it goes from a high performing video maybe you know or mid performing video to just squandered because Google's not going to push something that is not making money for them. So here we have like all the, like hundreds of videos that have become demonetized. It suppresses the message, whether it's a gun review or a 2A rant or a self-defense situation. All of a sudden it gets demonetized. No consistency across the board. Like a gun review that is just a, a an everyday gun review talks about the gun, this and that. All of a sudden it's demonetized. It suppresses the message and it silences the messenger and that's what happens you know if i did all this for the money i would have uh, affiliated links left and right talking about you know pushing products talking about why you should get it so that i can make money on the back end i don't do that i never started a patreon account this is about silencing the message and the messenger and it's happening again so when you hear this 
understand it is true and it's affected me as well. The last thing I want to talk about is a giveaway. I have a giveaway coming up. I'm working with these companies for donations. I have a bunch of stuff that I have that I'm going to give away. The only thing I'm struggling with is what the requirement of the giveaway is going to be. Back in the day, they used to say, you know, make a a video response. Well, that's not fair. Not everybody can make a video response, and I don't want to do that. You know, people say, well, maybe, you know, have the people do this or have them do that. I'm not sure what to do. I'm leaning toward just sharing the giveaway video so that more people can see it and get involved. I'm leaning toward that, but I want to get your feedback on the best way to have people enter the contest and I've got shirts and ammo and accessories and things like that that I'm really looking forward to giving away and giving back to you guys that have supported me so much. That's all I have for now and look forward to this giveaway coming within the week. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.